Oh, can't get off at four left. It's a right bit. Hi guys, welcome back to Love Us All Lakes. We've got about 10 minutes in there, as usual, late setting up. As I always am, but hey ho, but we, we've had one already, had an F1 about £2. Ethan's on, he's fishing across, he's, he's had two F1s now, so he's doing well, first few minutes. Um, that's it for now. What I can see anyway, I can't see any, if anybody else has had anything. Well, fishing usual, tip tip to one of the islands, got a margin to my left, long pole out in front, and I'm going to fish short pole for silvers this week. I'm going to try that. So, hopefully. Hopefully we'll get a couple. I can't really see what's happening. I can see on that bank. I can't see anybody's head up yet on that bank. But I can't see anything to my left. But yeah. We're on. We weren't going to come today, but he changed his mind, didn't he? So we have. I feel like I've left me four mil pellets. Whatever I've left them, I don't know, but I feel like I have. I've got some here. But yeah, nice day. Nice day for it. Ethan with a skimmer then, so he's had two F1s and a skimmer. I'll be honest with you, I've not even had many liners. <laughs> We've had a fish, so we're on to a good start. But that was a, that was a liner. Just had a, I just said pull then. Might be able to see if Leverett Collins fish a long pole, but 16 metres. Well, a couple of indications now, won't it? Which is good. Good sign. I didn't take my time to set my box up, so I'm leaning back a little bit. He's hurting me back already. <laughs> so, I'm going to try, I've got four mil expanders, two millers, yeah. oh, they're more like a three mil, aren't they? Expander. Got that because I've got a deep margin. That three and a bit foot, maybe just a bit too deep for their bonds. But it's there in it, so. A 
to a couple of small indications on it. That's it. Another indication. There's some fish moving around now. I'm going to try and catch a silvers on short line. You have to go a little bit further out to catch them, you're not going to do anything, it's just too much. The fronds are so big in here, so. I don't want to change some of the fishing. I've not had sugar in absolute ages, months. I've <clears throat> no sweet in my house this morning. I've put sugar in my coffee, in my tea. I've got a buzz on already. It tastes awful though. I'm not going to lie. Too sweet. I'm going to give this a couple more minutes. I've got meat and corn and the normal side tray. I do like meat here, that was just all. A lot of small indications. I've got some liquid. Um, it's called Big Fish Mix. It's from Carp Fishing Section on Nutribates side. Trust me. Stop buying glycerol based in liquids. Waste of money. I think these past few matches I've been fishing, I've been having too much going off, so that's why I've not been doing too great. I've been like, too many lines, too much actually going off in my peg. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Kelvin's other from across from there. I don't think he's had anything yet. What I can see. Let's have a look on the short line. On the short line, I'm just fishing just past where I've been cooking it, mate. Um, try a single, single red maggot up through the thin end. I apologise if uh, motorway is a bit loud. Basically, sat on top of motorway.
just doesn't go straight away and it's not the right one. It needs a shot on it where it's like Eiffel Tower. It's gone straight away. It's taking the maggot too. an indication. That's a nice dog roach, nice roach. Indications up well. Let's put a couple of back shot on this. Shot off like it bigger than what it was. Look to the top, look lovely. Definitely need to add, add a back shot on that. Set perk on that. The problem is that indications are so delicate. Need to uh, I think when I catch the bigger ones, you have to fish further than that, but
try two dead pinkies. What I'm going to do guys, I'm going to plug away and try and catch a few of these. Um, so what I'll do is I'll catch you in a bit if there's any more updates to be had. Hi guys, we'll come back. It's 12 o'clock now. We've got two or three F1s and one car. Um, and a couple of silvers. The chap on the corner up here has had a good car. <clears throat> it's fishing. I, I, I can't tell what they're having. It's fishing. It's fishing hard. Keep getting liners up tips off change from pellet feeder. Um, to, to a maggot feeder. Can't see what anybody's had that way. I keep getting liners across the island. I've seen a, fish, a few fish move away from it, um, but that's that's about it. I'll be honest. I've not tried short diamond margin yet. Um, I've had a couple. Of, I've got. I can go out long and catch a couple of skimmers on pellet. Uh, down here, I can catch fish after fish, but they're tiny. And another solid indication. Then on pole. On on pole. Sorry, on tip. Oh, we're in. I changed that from pellet feeder because we're getting stupid bites and it's gone hard. With normal method, well, not normal method on there. What do we call them? I don't know, banjo type feeder. I feel like they won't get into bait properly, but only time will tell. Only time will tell. If it goes round again after that, I think we're sure they're right. I've gone down to a, 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 one of them bandom, micro bandoms. So, yeah. Yeah, I think we're sure they're right. I think the, we just couldn't get to the up bait with the pellet feeder. So there's that much crap up bottom, and I like leaves and stuff. I'm sure they're like the flatbed method feeder, you know, with the walls on there, like I said, banjo type of feeder. It's just sitting on top of it and keeping the update in there, so. Yeah, so I'm 
that seemed to have worked that. That's gone round in four minutes. Well, less than four minutes. Bit of dip in the order. Liquid. Let's see if that makes any difference this time. I know to see that when I'm just casting. But yeah, when you stop at Point Island, it's not where cast have just said Mike's is landed, but it's uh, it's not far away. So we'll see, we'll soon find out if that fits. I think there's a lot of, like I said, detritus debris on the bottom. Um, but obviously trees have shed the leaves on the winter. I think they're all, it's all dead matter at the bottom. Gonna feed me margin line a little bit. Hopefully, the cast were terrible. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I'm happy, happy with that. Indication. <sighs> From the 18 gram pellet feeder to the 20 gram uh, hybrid feeder, the, the difference in weight is really, especially when it's filled with bait. Keep making sure I feed this uh, close in line here. These maggots. Can't chuck them, I can't just can't be accurate enough. See I'm not happy with that casting. It's gonna have to come in.
That's better. That was nice and tight in that. Might be better if I could move it back a little bit more, you might have to see a bit more. Sorry about that, but yeah, so. I feel like everybody's struggling. There just don't seem to be much happening anyway. People just concentrate on catching F1 because there's silvers. There's no dog side, there's no big, big pound skimmers or any, not many anyway, not enough. Most of the skimmers are literally hand side and thin. Literally two, two ounces, three ounces, absolutely max. Um, which is. It's annoying because I'd love to be sat there catching them all day on pole. Short. Great. Keep feeding the line straight out in front of me with four mil pellets. I may have a go on to shallow if I see any types of indication. I'm not getting any indications of this cast, which is a bit strange. But yeah, so I'm happy with that. Wish we'd had a bit more at net by now, but it's, it's hopefully they'll come short and we'll be able to get a few. I can't really see what's happening anywhere, to be honest. Right, so what I'll do is I'll love you and leave you, and I'll, I will catch you again in an hour or so, but uh, if anything else happens between then, I'm going to uh, catch you up then. I'll get back to you in a bit, guys. Catch you in a bit. Hi, guys. Welcome back. So, um, basically, into the last hour now, um, and a couple of F1, more F1s, but no, no massive, no massive like, amounts. Two from that margin. I lost a big carp, a big double figure carp. It's dumped tip on me, monster. Feed of a one ounce tip. So, not happy about that. Getting <laughs> some indications on. on Tip up island. Oh, island shut now. Try one a bit bigger. Absolutely broke that, that tip's gone. As far as I can, there's nothing to work as the angling in there. Get lads to order me one. Hopefully, they'll have them in stock, but I'm not sure. Sorry about that. We're straightening you up a bit. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but tip's gone, so. So it's as annoyed me. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, so not done there, maybe about fifteen pound at that. Land of that car would have been into the both figures. A lot of F on that there. Yeah. Just gonna top up my margin line. So I'm absolutely devastated about losing <laughs> that one ounce tip going. Oh, he's like here bubbling out here. These are F1s. There are eight pod F1s just in front of me. You just can't seem to get to come any closer. So, there's a few fish out here. You just will not come any closer. Most I've seen alive this lake for a while. Keep seeing people try shallow, but I haven't seen anyone really doing much shallow. Another fed a pint of pellets, trying to catch them. Fish just rolled of it. Point Island. But yeah, it's uh, just seem to be a few fish of that. An hour left. So car possum has just moved under water there. Right, folks in. And again, yeah. There's a lot of fish moving. I feel like that tip rod should have gone, but it's not gone yet. I feel like it landed my and just landed it wrong way. Plus, I've put a different hook bait on, trying that. Might be the wrong way to do it. Might have to go back to micro ones. I've got one hooked up ready.
Ya. Yeah. Luckily, I had this 10 foot rod set up. I feel like it could do me enough. I went back out after losing that car, I went back out with 10, this 10 foot rod and had a fish. So. That pod of F1s is there, I can see them from here. They just will not come in. See if I can get them to take a few what just goes for past and what I've been feeding. Yeah, they have took them. See if I can get them to come close here. There's a right pod in there. Hey, look, gobbin at it. Got a pellet waggle of that stuff. I don't know how to just get it out. It's a bit, probably about 14 metres out, 15 maybe. They're still there, they're, they're still there. I wonder if I change to Maggie, it'll, it'll turn them on. A bit of company if you have caster. See that? That'll wave off them. Well, that tip rod would have gone. Well, guys, so what I'll do is I'm going to crack on. Um, I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'll catch you in a bit.